Thank you, Honourable Chair. Because one of the most heart-wrenching forms of violence against women of children is sexual violence, I thought you may find this discussion thread between a human rights advocate and a media correspondent interesting. Now, the context of the discussion is the distribution of pornography via the internet in South Africa. The correspondent starts off saying, wish our constitution actually worked for the people when they can actually police uh, streets, have a justice system that works and cut out all corruption. Then you can start talking about the effective ways of limiting certain kinds of online material within reason. The advocate responds saying that porn is probably the most pervasive way of devaluing human beings. It is in our view at least as important as the concerning issues that you have raised. Now pornography sends out a culture shaping message about the value of human beings. Some in society may have established internal value systems and may be able to reject the narrative. Others however, are profoundly affected, and society, usually the most vulnerable, pay the price. The correspondent then says, I hear, yet, I hear you, yet I would say that the most pervasive way of devaluing humans is to have them starve with no proper education, with no hope of the future, with no em employment. What you mentioned, says the advocate, are the fruits of devaluing. Once we have stopped valuing each other properly, we will, let, we will let these things happen to each other. Now the correspondent replies, very few people anyway have even got access to the internet. The prevalence and culture of rape and abuse in our country need fixing well before regulating online porn. Actually, the advocate points out, on the 2016 stats alone, South Africa is the 20th largest porn consuming country in the world, but it is number one for accessing porn via smartphones. And according to research, porn consumption is in fact a cause of sexual violence. To say that porn has no influence on South Africa's rape and sexual abuse stats is irrational. Now the disinterest of MPs and the department in the matter during deliberations on the Films and Publications Amendment Bill has been disappointing for the ACDP and the many others who recognize the connection and the danger. It is, however, indicative of why South Africa has such a huge problem with sexual violence against women and children. The real question should not be which measures are too little or too much to combat sexual violence, but what do we value and care about most? Now, if the answer is being entertained and sexually aroused, then we're surely on track. If it is protecting and reducing the risk of women and children becoming yet another victim of sexual violence, we must rethink the issue of pornography and Order, ensure that it does member. not have the free reign our in society that is pre it presently has. In this way, we will demonstrate our commitment Order. to no violence against women and children and not Honorable just Dadl. pay lip service. Our Thank time you. is up.